4. Introduction and usage of Intelligent Controller. Introduction of M Intelligent Controller. 1. Reset button. After the breaker trip by fault, their set buttons should be pressed in order to make it close again. Otherwise, it won't be realized. 2. Display screen. It shows time and current value. 3. LED indicator. Display all states and types. 4. Select key. Under normal operation state, show the parameters of circuit, time, or voltage of every phase. 5. Clean key. Press this key to make breaker normally operate after releases setting, test, fault, or data check. 6. Set key. Check and set the current and time for protection characteristics. Press this key to circularly display each state of breaker. 7. Trip and non-trip key. Used for release test function and determine whether the breaker is needed to be opened or not in the test. 8. Fault check key. Press this key to display the last fault state and its fault current and time. 9. Save plus and minus key. Set the current or time. 10. AKAS indicator light. Indicates the unit of displayed value. 11. G indicator light. Indicate the displayed current is earthing fault current. 12. L1, L2, L3 indicator light. L1, L2, L3 is the phase of displayed current. If max simultaneously shining with one of the L1, L2, L3, it shows that the displayed phase's current is maximum among these phases. 13. Test indicator light. It indicates the breaker is at the test state. 14. Trip indicator light. Indicate the release sending out tripping signal. 15. Indicator light flashing shows the earthing fault processing state. If shining with trip light, it shows that it has been tripped. 16. Indicator light flashing shows that the fault processing states of instant short circuit. If shining with trip light, it shows that it has been tripped. 17. Indicator flashing shows that the fault processing state of instantaneously short circuit time delays. If shining with trip light, it shows that it has been tripped. 18. Indicator flashing shows that the fault processing state of overload long time delay. If shining with trip light, it shows that it has been tripped. 19. Set state of earthing fault protection. Set current is displayed if the light is flashing. 20. Set state of earthing fault protection. Set time is delayed if the light flashes. 21. Set state of long time delay protection. Set current is displayed if the light flashes. 22. Set state of long time delay protection. Set time is displayed if the light flashes. 23. Set state of short time delay protection. Set current is displayed if the light flashes. 24. Set state of instantaneous protection. Set time is displayed if the light flashes. 25. Set state of short time delay protection. Set time if displayed if the light flashes. 26. Load 1. Load 2. Indicator light means two current settings are monitored with load. 27. Indicator light flashing once indicates the set value has been saved. Basic functions. A. Overload long inverse time delay protection. B. Short inverse time delay or infinite time delay protection. C. Instantaneous protection. D. Earthing fault protection. E. Query function. F. Parameters setting function. G. Test function selective function. A. Load monitor function. B. Making current release. MCR. C. Signal alarm function. Setting of M controller. The long time delay setting of the controller. Press the set button until the long time delay. The control panel indicates IL state indicator is lightened. Showing the long time delay X store current setting, usually IN. The current setting range is decimal 4 to 1, IN. To press plus minus button according to the need, it will increase or reduce alternatively by 2% every time when the button is pressed until the current reaches to the nearest needed current.
Then when the storage button is kept pressing for one second, the light under the button is lightened, which means the finish of the long time delay current adjustment and setting. Long time delay time setting. When the long time delay current setting is finished, the setting button is pressed again to enter the long time delay time. Setting state and meanwhile the state indicator light is lightened to show the X store time setting value of long time delay. The time is doubled every time when plus button is pressed. If the time is too long, minus button can be pressed. The time is reduced by half every time when the button is pressed until the time reaches to the nearest needed value. And then the storage button is kept pressing for one second. The light under the button is lightened, which means the finish of long time delay adjustment is setting. If set button is pressed again, the short time delay circuit, IS, time instantaneously, II current, earth current, IG, and time can be set in the same way as above. Fault time of ground protection is set at off position, which means that when there is the fault condition, the controller only has the light beam alarm indication and the breaker does not trip. After the controller's parameter is set, the user can check every protective function and have simulation tests to the controller according to the practical need. The controller has tripping and non-tripping choice. First, as setting all kinds of current settings, the user should be a set assembler value. A simulation value is assumed to be I. So when IR1, long time delay current setting value, short time delay current setting value, tripping key is pressed and the breaker is cut under the long time delay protection. Note, never press storage after simulation value key. If non-tripping key is pressed, the breaker shall be cut. However, after the two operations, there are the operating current and operating time display. Fault inquiry of the controller. When the fault inquiry key is pushed, the controller displays the last protection operating current time of the controller for the convenience of de the determination of circuit fault type. The current type at the test is not remembered. Indication to H intelligent controller. 1. Reset button. After the breaker trip by fault, their set buttons should be pressed in order to make it closed again. Otherwise, it won't be realized. Display screen. To display the time, current, voltage, etc. 3. LED indicator. Display all the states and types. 4. Function key. To press this key to choose functions. 5. Key. To choose the execution function, check and set the current and time with all kinds of protective characteristics, and this button can be used to indicate all conditions circularly. 6. Conform key. After the execution function is selected or parameter setting is finished, press the button to make confirmation and approval. 7. Return key. This button is pushed after the operation or approval of other functions to enter into other functional operations or parameter settings. 8. Program Interface. The input of the compiling and amendment of the original program and parameters of the release. 9. Communication Light. When the release is under the communication state, the light is lightened. 10. Position Lock. At the communication function, the state of the release should be indicated. Basic functions. A. Overload long inverse time delay protection. B. Short inverse time delay or definite time delay protection. C. Instantaneous protection. D. Earthing fault protection. E. Amper meter function. F. Self check. G. Setting. H. Test. I. Monitoring with load. J. Display selective functions. A. Voltage. B. Frequency. C. Power factor. D. Active power display. Setting of H controller. When the return key is pressed, the controller is at the normal condition. The key is pointed to the set position. The function key is pushed until the setting light flashes. The confirm button is pushed and then the up button or the down button is pushed to select the parameter that needs to be set or amended. IC1 means load 1, IC2 means load 2, N means N phase protective current ratio, 
and means unbalanced ratio. It means earth protection or earth leakage protection. L means long time delay. S means short time delay. I means instantaneous enter. After the selection is made, the confirm key is pressed and the light set turns to constant bright. The up or down button is pushed to adjust the needed value and the confirm button is pushed. If the return button is pushed directly, this parameters will not be amended. When the return button is pushed, the set light flashes again and the other parameters can be set at this time. After all the parameters is OK, the return button is pushed until the set light is off. Test of the controller. The controller's test function is to have a simulation test to the breakers instantaneously tripping. The inherent operation time displays after the operation. If the breaker failed to break, ER12 is displayed. The key lock is at set position. The function button is pushed until the test light flashes. The confirm button is pushed and the test light is constantly bright. The confirm button is pushed again and the breaker is cut and displays the breaker's inherent mechanical operating time. The return button is pushed until the test light is off and the test condition is quit. Fault inquiry of the controller. The key lock is at set position and function key is pushed until inquiry light is lightened. The confirm key is pushed and the inquiry light is constantly lightened. Key is pushed to make fault light flashes and then confirm key is pushed. The fault operating time and operating current is displayed and the return key is pushed until the inquiry light is off. The inquiry condition is quit. Communication function. The key lock is at communication position. The secondary wiring terminals 10 and 11 are connected by the cables to have the communication functions. 